What's going on YouTube for us here? Hope you guys are doing well. Today is supposed to be a day of celebration, a day of an excitement for the Call of Duty community. Instead, it is once again welcomed with absolute anger and disappointment from the community. Because once again, the developers over at Sledgehammer Games and Activision failed this community. They decided to launch, or try to launch, Season 1 Reloaded, and they failed to deliver one of the biggest selling features of Season 1 Reloaded, which is Ranked Play. I mean, at this point in time, I guess there's three guarantees in life. Death, Taxes, and Call of Duty Update breaking their own game. Because that's where we're at right now. Not only is Rank Play not a part of this update, the update that we were expecting Rank Play to come in, but Warzone is also broken. They fail at every single turn to instill any type of confidence, ever. How can anybody in this community at this point in time now support Activision, now support Call of Duty and say, you guys are doing an amazing job, please continue what you're doing. No, what you're doing is failing at every single turn. You are showcasing your incompetence, your laziness, and your lack of attention to detail. I just cannot sit by and continue to notice what's going on and not talk about it further. How anybody can still support this game and defend Call of Duty at this point in time is inexcusable. This franchise has fallen into indefensible zone. That's where they're at. How you can defend where Call of Duty has gone. The fact that they can't release a, an update without breaking the game. How it takes them so long to update anything. How they constantly lie and deceive you every single day. Yet you're still willing to spend hundreds of dollars on battle passes and bundles to support this nonsense? I mean, I made a video a couple days ago talking about how we deserve this. How we deserve the current state of Call of Duty. Because what we continue to do is support them. We continue to tell them that this is okay. It does not matter how many people are going to talk negatively about this new update. How many people are going to be upset and outraged over the fact that ranked play isn't a part of this update. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because for every person saying that there is an issue here, there's at least one or two people going out and buying a battle pass. Or buying a brand new bundle. That's what Activision cares about, that's what Call of Duty cares about. They are so much more concerned about making money off of mouth-breathing morons who decide that their own enjoyment doesn't matter as long as they get the shiny new thing in the store. And they, they, they sell out for this awful company that has decided to just forego any creativity, any type of innovation, and instead trade it in for their own greed. Because it's not about creating great games anymore. It's not about creating a good experience. It's about padding their pockets. I mean, I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record here, and I get that. I repeat a lot of the same sentiments over and over and over again. Nothing changes. Nothing ever changes. I mean, I went into this expecting there to be something that went wrong. And lo and behold, they didn't surprise me. I am not shocked that something went catastrophically wrong with this update because something always goes catastrophically wrong with a brand new Call of Duty update. At this point in time, this community can count on Call of Duty to fail them. To can count on Call of Duty to ensure that their experience is being hindered. I just don't know where we go from here. Because I can only make so many videos talking about the same thing over and over and over again. So many videos calling out Activision, calling out Call of Duty. When is the point going to get across to this community that something massively has to change and it starts with you? It starts with you, the consumer. All the people that said, I'm going to go buy a battle pass in my don't buy the battle pass video. This is what you get for buying the battle pass. You get no ranked play, a broken war zone mode, and an update that broke the game. I mean, Charlie Intel went as far to say, I think this is the worst Call of Duty update of all time. Warzone is broken in, modern, or multiplayer ranked play launch is now delayed. Oof. That's what you paid for. When you bought your Battle Pass, you weren't buying the, the skins that you thought you were buying. You weren't buying the extra COD points, nothing to that. What you were buying, this update. That's what your money is going towards. Your money is going towards to ensure that these types of updates, these types of game-breaking issues are going to continue to manifest every single time there's new content drop. Because you support this. You say you're okay with it every time you vote with your wallet. 
I just don't know how you can continue to throw your money away and support this. Cool, man, you, you have a cool skin that everyone else has. Awesome, it showcases nothing other than you're the same as everybody else and is willing to spend $20. You didn't do anything unique to earn that skin. You didn't go through and grind through any sort of challenge. No, you paid 20 bucks and you got a skin that looks ridiculous in this game. That's what you did. Good on you, I guess. I mean, I, I just, I, I'm at a loss for words. I really honestly am. I would have loved to have come on here today and say, guys, they finally released a great update, to my surprise. <laughs> but no, they, they couldn't even do that. They could not service this community in any type of fashion that was remotely respectable. What this is, is once again, another form of disrespect to your time and your integrity as a person. Like, how does anybody look at Activision, look at Call of Duty and say, they're, they're you know... They're the gold standard of integrity at this point in time. I trust everything that's going on there. How can you believe in this company? How can you trust in this company? How can you think for a millisecond that this company understands this community in any way, shape, or form? They don't. They, they legitimately do not. And the statements that have come out today to play the PR game. Oh, these aren't up to our quality of standards. What are your quality of standards right now, Call of Duty? Because this seems pretty par for the course. This is pretty consistent with the quality of standards that you've been releasing your games at. You've been releasing your updates. Always two steps backward, one step forward. That's the Call of Duty motto in this modern era. It's all about regression. There's never progression. There's never innovation. There's never any type of pushing the boundaries. No, that would take time and effort and creativity. Something that nobody over at Activision or Sledgehammer or Raven has anymore. They've lost it all. They've traded all that in so that they have this giant paycheck at the end of the month. And that's all they care about. They don't care about creating great games anymore. They don't care about creating unique user experiences for each player. It is all about me, 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 me as a developer now. It's just really disappointing. This franchise used to set the standard. They used to be the trendsetter, the innovator. And now they're just a company in disarray. They have no direction. And it shows with every brand new update. They just don't care. That's what it comes down to, guys. This is a franchise, a company that just doesn't care anymore. Hopefully we have solutions to all the problems in Warzone. Hopefully ranked play comes out in the near future. But I'm nothing more than disappointed. That's what I am. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. And it's really too bad that once again Call of Duty failed to meet the expectations of this community. But that's all the time I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.